All right, what's going on guys? This is Jake and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can edit your order confirmation emails that are automatically sent to customers after they purchase products on your store. So we're talking about these emails right here. So this is what they look like by default. You have like your store name, thank you for your purchase, this text, the button, and the order summary down here, and the customer info. So I'm gonna show you how you can actually edit these inside of Shopify. Really quick before we get into the video, if you are interested in setting up wholesale pricing on your Shopify store or you want to run giveaways on your Shopify store, be sure to check out my two apps by clicking the links in the description down below. So we're going to open up settings and we're going to come down here to notifications. And once we're inside notifications, we're going to click on customize email templates right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up this email template we have right here. So this is the order confirmation right now. And I could switch through these and we can see this is order edited. This is order invoice, etc. So we're going to be able to edit all of these, but the confirmation is going to be the primary one we're looking at. So in this screen, we can edit the logo and we can add in our accent color. So what we're going to do is we can add in a logo first. So I'm going to add in the logo for this store here. So I'm going to add in an image that we already have, which is the logo for the store. So we can add this logo in here and we need to save to update this preview. And we can see that this logo is a little small, so you could go ahead and change the logo size a bit. So I could save again and we can see that now it made the logo a little bigger. So in this case, I'll shrink it a little bit, but you could choose whatever logo size you want. And then we have the accent color. So you're going to want to change this to essentially whatever color it is that you're using on your store for all of your branding. So in order to do that, you would just want to grab the hex code from your logo. In this case, I would need to open up the customizer to grab the hex code because I don't feel like opening up Photoshop right now. So I'm going to go to the theme settings colors. I'm going to take the accent one color right here, and then we're going to jump back over to notifications, customize the template, and change this accent color here to the shade of blue that we have been using throughout the store. So now if I go ahead and save these changes, we can see that our button now matches our store branding we've added our logo in. But what if we wanna go ahead and edit this actual text right here? So we can do that by going back. So I'm gonna go back and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna open up the customizer again in a new tab because this is going to be helpful for the next part being able to see this email right here so we're going to go back and now we can scroll down here to these actual emails and this is where we can actually edit the actual text and the template of them in here so if we click on order confirmation it's going to open up the order confirmation email here and if we want to edit it we can just click on edit code here in the top right and I just had to quickly verify my sender email, which is something you're gonna have to do if you wanna actually edit the email content in here. So we can see here, we have to edit the actual code here. So this may look a little bit confusing, but if you're just trying to edit the text, it's really not gonna be that confusing at all. So all you have to do is look for the text you wanna edit in here, and then you can just look for that same text right in here. And you can just ignore the liquid code here and all the brackets. So Let's say this says, thank you for your purchase right here. So that is this text right here. So if we wanted to change this, we could change it to something else like we appreciate your purchase, for example. And if I were to save this really quick and I came over here and refreshed this page, we can see that now this text has changed to we appreciate your purchase. So you can come in here and change whatever text you want. So as we scroll down here, we're going to get a lot of if statements here. So what that essentially means is if there is a certain variable that is true, then a certain text is going to show up. So essentially this means if buyer action is required. So essentially if you're offering deferred payments, this is the text that's going to show up. And then if the payment is in processing and it's not automatically processed, then this text will show up right here. So you could edit this text. And then we have the shipping variables. So if you offer pickup, you'll see that you'll receive an email when your order is ready for pickup and you could edit this text in here for that. And then you have for local delivery, we're getting your order ready for delivery right here. Then we have this else, which essentially just means for everyone else. So if none of these variables are true, then this is the text that's going to be sent. 
So we can see that that's what this is right here. So we're getting your order ready to be shipped. We'll notify you when it has been sent. We could edit that right here and we could change this to anything we wanted. So that's going to be up to you right there. So I can change it to something like we will notify you and send you tracking information once your order has been shipped. So you can go ahead and change this text to whatever you want, depending on what you're trying to convey with your brand. And then down here, we have some other text sections as well. Mainly all of this is going to be like the layout for everything down here. So primarily you're just going to be personalizing the text up here and then editing your logo and your accent colors. Now, if you are familiar with liquid code, you can go in here and edit these templates, but you really don't have to do all that. The primary part of all the personalization here is going to be your logo, your accent color, and then these two lines of text right here, which like we said, as a reminder, are going to be right here. So right below this first else tag. So essentially to make it easy, line five and then line 23 are going to be the lines here in the code that you're going to be editing. So we can click on save, come over here, refresh, and we can see that now this email is updated with the text that we put in. So we can see that this email looks a lot better and a lot more branded than this generic email over here. So it's a small change, it doesn't take long, but it's definitely something that's worth doing. So with that said, that's going to be it for how you can edit your order confirmation emails within Shopify. If you did find this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos. And if you're looking to run raffles or giveaways on your store, or you're looking to offer wholesale pricing on your Shopify store, be sure to check out my Shopify apps by clicking the links in the description down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in another one.